How's it guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a definitive technology home cinema setup. Um, already started, the screen is being placed out on the floor now. AV cabinet, equipment is there. Um, kit going in, 9060 fronts, 9060 center. Um, and to make it even more epic at the back, don't know if you can see behind the light now, we have two DN12s going in both of the rear corners. Projector, Epson 9400 or UB 60, 40 or 50 for the States guys. So I'm going to film this process as we go. Um, and then also a little demo at the end of the day when we are calibrating and when all is done. Okay, so equipment, ra equipment rack is being assembled. Screen is being assembled. We'll get that in place. Some floating shelves are gonna go up there, which are there. Glass door for the equipment rack. Yeah, getting along. Okay guys, excuse the generator in the background. We have our wonderful load shedding in South Africa. So this is the cost effective way if you guys want to make a screen and still make it good. You know, you're not going to be sacrificing on colors um, and it works out cost effectively. So we are building a frame out of MDF that's been painted black. We have we have the frame going around, then there's another frame that's going over that, like that. So the LED strip will run behind this piece. Then we have braces in the middle. So when we do take the material over and we bring it close, we, 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 we stretch it. It doesn't um, twist the screen out of square. Um, and then you need the frame around like that because it's going to be acoustic transparent So the LED does not shine through where your speakers are going to be This is an acoustic transparent screen, but we're not going acoustic transparent on this one We have the definitive tech speakers. The only reason we went acoustic is for the size This is a hundred and fifty inch screen and in my boards that I normally do when we do a, co a cost effective screen does not come in this size. So we had to do acoustic transparent so we can join the wood in the middle. This will still be joined with fasteners and then the material is going to go over that. And for the material, we have black for the back and we have a light gray for the front. I like the light grays because it just brings out that contrast that little bit more. We do have the Epson um, Ultra Black, but still, I just enjoy that bit more contrast on the image. Okay, so first layer of black is on now. Now we are going over with the light gray, and then we'll show you a picture when we mount the screen to the wall. Guys, if you are doing the screen DIY, you can just get yourself a nail gun. Just go all around the side and just nail it. I would recommend a nail gun because if you use screws, it's going to roll up your material. Yeah. Okay guys, so you're doing your LED strip. You can put that on afterwards around the screen. Um, never trust the glue that comes with the strip itself. Always add a bit of extra glue like we did with a hot glue gun, just to make sure it doesn't come loose with time. Then to mount, Many different ways, but the easiest way is to do a gravity cleat at an angle like that, that you can attach to your screen. And then we're going to be attaching the other part of the gravity cleat onto the wall now. So measure where center of your screen is going to be. Then to the sides, put one gravity cleat and another one. You can use a level, or you can do both. Use a level and measure from your cornices and your floor to make sure the screen doesn't only sit level, but looks level. Sometimes, sometimes it's better to use the eye than to use an actual level because you're going to be seeing it all the time. Okay guys, screen is up. LEDs are functioning behind, center stand. Still not made pretty, just functional. We'll sort that out now. Um, now we're going to do some floating units, shelves going up there to display all the clients' movies. Equipment is basically in the rack. We'll just make it pretty as soon as all of the stuff is actually mounted. Speakers are up. We are going to be mounting, we're 
worked out the projectors throw ratio now for 150 so now we're just waiting for them to put the plug in the ceiling and then we'll mount our projector box and then we can start doing some calibrations okay guys we're basically there screen is up um, projector is mounted we are just cleaning up this side of the floating shelves and the equipment rack clients is inputting his apple tv goodies and then we'll start calibrating this system okay guys we are done and it is sounding epic we have a quick disc in here for a demo uh, I'm going to leave the lights behind the screen on, but when you're watching a movie, obviously it'll be off, but now for dramatic effect, we're leaving it. So let's do some demos. I couldn't properly close out that video yesterday so I'm closing it out here today here by my pond in my backyard um, so overall that system came out very nice we need to go back um, that was just to get the whole thing functional and up and running but we're still going to be doing some acoustic treatments um, there was a lot of echo coming from the top so I recommended to the clients ISO firm in the ceiling <coughs> we can do some panels on the side um, you know do some movie poster panels make it look a bit more cinema but for now they just wanted to move in and get that functional but it does sound very good um and that cinema came in at a real good price they were clearing the last of the def tech and moran stuff so i would say all in all that cinema more or less came in at about 150 um if we work it and that's 150,000 south african rand and if we work it back into dollars about ten thousand dollars um, which I think is very affordable for the cinema of that caliber and that audio sounds phenomenal So they're just waiting for couches We just dragged the couch in there just to get the whole thing functional so we could calibrate um, Kits I did not mention kits in there. So all the kits for the um, for the whole brain of the system Moran 7015 um, Front stage was um, Definitive Tech 9060 center was a 9040 surrounds were two pairs of 9080 dive holes we had two in ceiling six inches and then we had two atmos modules on the front up firing on definitive technology as well subwoofers were four in this system the two fronts being the onboard subs that come with the 9060s and then for the rears we have two of the dn12 the sen subwoofers so it sounds phenomenal um, movie handling Apple TV there's a PlayStation 5 and there's a Samsung 4k Ultra HD blu-ray player in there as well so as far as kit goes I wouldn't even say start a kit this is mid-level this is very good and for the price the client got that at it was an absolute steal I would say half price on all of that so another pro tip always look for when stuff is end of range um, you can get very good deals on end of range stuff and it's still it's still up to date with most of the stuff um, all the new stuff that's coming out now small changes but yeah if you can get good deals like that 
epic go for it guys hope you enjoyed this video till the next one cheers bye